Shalom, shalom to all my brothers and sisters that's in the truth, who um knowing their biblical nationality, who's trying their best to um keep the commandments, stay strong throughout the four corners of the earth, and um abstain from the peers of evil. So um I just want to say shalom to all your brothers. This is Brother Pakia more and more Israel um from the tribe of Judah. And um I'm here to bring another lesson today called Heal. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do right now is um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read a verse real fast. It said, um, 1 Thessalonians um, 5 and 21, prove all things, hold fast to which is good. So prove all things and hold fast to which is good. Have you ever once in your, um, to all my brothers and sisters that's watching, have you ever once looked at your hand and wonder why um why your arm part would be brown like this and this part right here be light? Or or if you look at your foot, the top of your foot part would be brown, but the heel will be um light. This is considered a heel as well. Your hand part or your arm, your palm and your hand is considered a heel as well. So is is a heel of your hand and your heel of your foot? So, um, I'm going to break it down to you why, um, why it's like that. Okay. So I'm going to go to, the, um, Genesis, Genesis, uh, 315. All right. Okay. And, um, now this started from the way that this happened was it started from Adam and Eve. Okay. From the transgression that they committed okay so um so i'm gonna go to genesis yep 3 15 and um now i'm actually i'm gonna go to 14 so in yahweh um genesis 3 14 and yahweh elohim said unto the serpent because thou has done this Thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field and upon the belly shall thou go and dust shall thou eat all the days of thy life. Okay, so now let's go to verse 15 because this is very important. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Now, if you look up the word enmity, basically that just means um, host hostility, animosity, and antagonism. So that's what, so the Most High was having a, um, was basically um, cursing the serpent at this point in time in this verse right here. And it said, and I will put enmity, that's an, a, um, hostility, animosity, and antagonism between the serpent and the woman. Okay, so, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed, which is Satan's seed, and her seed, okay, and he, I mean, he shall bruise thy head, and thou shall bruise his heel, bruise his heel, this was an ongoing thing ever since uh, Adam and Eve, okay, because of that mistake, that transgression, um, now, when you have brown skin here, you have, you know, you heal here, you heal, and, and that's that lot of part. And, then, and that's what happened. I always, I always, you, have you ever thought about that? Looked at yourself and you take a shower or thought about that all your life? Why this skin part is brown and this part is light and, you know, well, there you have it. All right. And, um, and the woman, um, between thy seed and her seed, he shall bruise thy head and thou shall bruise his heel. Okay. So, um, and that's exactly what happened. So, um. Between thy seed and between um and between thy seed and her seed, okay. So the Satan seed always won't bad. Her seed, she always want her child to be good. So if a woman have a have a kid, she don't automatically want her son or her daughter to be bad people. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, that's why you have to be born again. Okay? 
because you're always going to be of carnal mind. So once you be born again, you be of of uh, of a spiritual mind. You be a spiritual person. You be of the Most High Seed. Okay. So let's go to Genesis twenty five twenty six. Okay, because I'm gonna stick to the subject. All right. So. All right, and that's what that's when the Most High was having a uh conversation with the serpent. All right, at that time. All right, and um, Genesis twenty five and twenty six, and it reads, and after that came his brother. Actually, actually, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go to to twenty through twenty two. Okay, and the children struggled together within her, and she said, "If it be so, why am I thus?" And she went to inquire of Yahweh, 23. And Yahweh said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And one people shall be stronger and the other people, then the other people and the, and the elder shall serve the younger. Okay. So let's go to drop down to verse 26. And after that came his brother out and his hand took hold of Esau's healed. Okay. And his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was three score years old when she buried them. So, uh, when 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 die seed, when the Satan seeds came out, he grabbed hold of that hill. Okay, um, and after that came out his brothers, um, brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's hill. Okay, so we got to keep that in mind, or what that is saying on Genesis three fifteen. Okay, when it said, um, and I will put enmity between thy seed and the woman, in between thy seed and her seed. Okay, so um, let that sink in when you grab a hold of that hill. So let's go to Hosea 12 and 3. All right. And that's very important. All right. Um, 12 and 3 Hosea 12 and 3 he, he took his brother by the heel In the womb Hmm. He took his brother by the heel In the womb and by His strength He had power with Elohim So that's just giving Another precept when he took up on that heel He took his brother by the heel In the womb and by His strength he had power with um, Elohim. So that was in between Satan seeds and the most high seed. Okay. All right. So let's go to um, Job uh, 13 and 27. This is going to be a little short little lesson, but it was very, very, very important. If you look at yourself and you look at the hill and you wonder why. You know, um, why it's like that. You got to go back to Genesis 3, 15. Okay. All right. So let's go to Job 30, I mean, 13, 27. I'm just proving it to you. That's all I'm doing. So, um, Genesis 13, 27, um, Thou puttest my feet also in thy stocks, and lookest narrowly unto all my paths, that settest a print upon the hills of my feet. Okay? So if you're thinking about uh, right now, if you look at a book, uh, um, the DNA of fingerprinting or anything like that, the first thing they're trying to do is to connect that crime to that person is your fingerprints, which is your heel. Was the heel of your hand, okay? That's how, or, or if they don't have concrete evidence, they're going to go to the heel if that's how they can catch you, okay? Um, so, with that being said, or your footprints too, or the heel of your foot, you know, what size shoe you wear, or whatever, you know, however it come down to the come down, all right? But just to hear your foot, I'm going to read that again. And thou... 
and thou puttest my feet also in, in the stocks, and look it narrowly unto all my paths. Thou settest a print upon the heel of my feet. Okay. So now I'm going to go to uh, Job 18 and 8. All right, 18 and 8. And this is what it says. It reads, uh, For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare, okay? Nine, the jinn. The jinn basically means a trap, okay? The jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him. 10. The snare is laid up laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. His firstborn shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. That goes back to Genesis uh, 3.15. All right. And um, it shall devour the strength of his skin, even the firstborn of the even the firstborn of debt shall devour his strength. Okay. So that's the enmity between um, D and I C, you know, and um, and I will put enmity between D and I C in between D and the woman and between thy seed and her seed and it shall bruise thy head and it shall bruise thy heel. All right. So let's go to uh, Psalms 41 and 9. All right. Heel is, is just, it don't just mean the bottom of your foot. Okay. It means it, 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 it's, it's, the, it's the bottom of your hand too. All right. So um, Psalms 41 and 9. Yeah, my own fam, my own familiar friend. This is Psalms 41 and 9, okay? So, um, yeah, my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, had lifted up his heel against me. Okay, let me read that again. Yeah, my own familiar friend in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, had lifted up his heel against me. OK, so I was letting you know in that precept that is considered a heel when he lifted up his heel against him. OK, so. Um, all right, so let's go to John 318. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, let's go to John 318. And this coming from uh, Yahweh and Yahweh Moth itself. OK. John 3 18 it reads I speak not of you all I know whom I have chosen but that the scripture may be fulfilled he that eat it bread with me had lifted up his heel against me okay so um, that's exactly why you will have to be born again okay because you always gonna have that um, that differences with us between us, especially coming out into the world, you know, basically with, with Satan seed and die seed, you know, because you have to be born again, all right. And and this is just a permanent mark to prove that, okay. So let's go to John. Uh, um, Three and three, one twenty-four. Okay. John three eighteen. Well, I'm sorry. We gonna um, yeah yeah John. I'm sorry. John three. John three and three. Sorry, Israel. I'm just um. Like I said, this is just a little short little lesson. All right, John three and three. 
And um, Yahweh ben Yahweh answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Okay. All right. Let me read that again. Yahweh ben Yahweh answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. So you have to be born again to get that Satan seed up off of you. All right. So um, I'm hoping I have one more precept and that's it. And I hope this is an edifying, um, you know, the lesson. So let's go to Revelation 3 and 6. I know it by heart, but I just want to, um, you know, just want to. Prove it with scriptures. He that have it here, let him hear what the Spirit say to the assembly, okay? All right. Three and six. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say to the assembly. Okay, let's let's show that right here real quick. Let me see if I can get that for you. So you see, I'm not making that up. Where is it at? Let me see. All right, there it goes. He that have an ear, let him see what the Spirit say to the assembly. Okay? I don't know if you could probably see that right or see that correctly, but that's what it say. And it say, it don't say, and, and the King James Version is going to say church. But in in the, in the, um, the Holy Name Bible is gonna say assembly. So there you have it. Um, all praises and honor and glory go to Yahweh and Yahweh being Yahweh with this beautiful lesson. Hope it was edifying. Some may scoff, some may not, but you know, at the end of the day, it's our love, and we all here to get understanding and edification and to grow. Because every single day you get smarter and smarter. So with that being said, shalom to all my brothers and sisters far and near scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And I love y'all and stay positive, stay positive minded, stay uh, spiritual minded, stay following the commandments and do what the most high allows you to do. And if something in your um, spirit feeling is unrighteous, then that means probably is more likely is unrighteous. If it don't connect with the words of the Bible. So with that being said, have a blessed day. Shalom.